everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about how to achieve your goals and how to manifest your ideals and the things you envision for your life and what you want to become. Um, I know a lot of people struggle with this and I know it's something that I um, do within my health coaching. Um, I think it's super important for you to practice these things every single day, every single moment for you to be able to achieve what you want to happen in your life, for you to achieve what you want for your health, for you to achieve um, what you want your future to be like and how you want to be as a person overall. So without further ado, let's get into the video. I hope you enjoy. On almost a daily basis, I get questions like, Brittany, how can I lose these extra five pounds? How can I start eating a fully raw vegan diet? How can I get this job that I want to get? How can I sleep better at night? And all of these random questions, even though they're all so very different and your goals may be completely different from someone else's goal, but the thing I want to talk about today is how you can actually achieve those goals and how you can manifest what you envision for yourself to actually come true and how to actually um, make those dreams come true. <laughs> um, it's actually really simple and I'm going to share with you my top tips so I hope you enjoy. So number one, you have to really want it. How badly do you want to lose those extra, fa extra five pounds? How badly do you want to start a fully raw vegan diet? When you want something really badly, it becomes uh, something at the top of your priority list. And to have that desire to want to achieve something so very badly, that gives you the motivation, that gives you the push, that gives you the drive, and you have to have that. So if your um, ideal is not on your, the top of your priority list, and it's not something you so badly want, then it shouldn't be there. It just, it just doesn't make sense to be there. So you have to really, really want it and you have to want it badly and you have to be doing what you need to do to achieve that and get to that. Number two, you have to take action. Now, when I say action, I don't mean uh, going out and doing that right away. When I say take action, I mean create a vision board, create a to-do list, create a list of things that you want to happen and you want to achieve in your life. When you see something down on paper, when you see it right there in your face and you see it every single day and you're reminded of it every day, that's going to give you the drive, that's going to give you the push, that's going to give you the motivation and that's going to get you really inspired to achieve those that are on your list or your vision board. And if you don't know what a vision board is, that's something I highly recommend you try out. I have one myself. It's basically a piece of paper that you write down specific words, you cut and paste different pictures and images and you put on that board and it becomes your vision for your future. It becomes your vision for your ideal self, your ideal way of living, whatever it is you want to manifest in your life, you put down on that piece of paper. And it, it can be super, super simple, it can be super complex, whatever you want, whatever will get you super motivated and inspired and excited every single day to see that. And it's just like a reminder whenever you see that to really Really give yourself the push and really get you excited to achieve those goals. So if you want to do something a little more simple, you can of course just write like a to-do list. Write a simple list, hang it up on your wall, wherever you're going to see it every single day and it's going to give you that push, it's going to give you that drive to see those things up there and to say, oh yeah, I got to do that and I know how I'm going to do that. Number three, acknowledge that it will take you some time. Be persistent, be consistent and do not be impatient with yourself. Um, there are certain goals for certain people that may take one day to achieve and there may be certain goals that may take certain people a year to achieve. Um, it really depends on what it is, it depends on where are you in your life, in your situation, in your whole um, overall health journey. Doesn't matter what that goal is, doesn't matter who you are. Um, just be consistent, be appreciative for where you are right now. It's going to take time and just learn to uh, take it as a journey, take it as a life experience and um, if you are consistent and you're persistent, you will get there. Number four, start doing it. Even though you don't think you're actually ready, even though you still have some negative thoughts in the back of your mind, just do it. Just do it. Even if it takes you a few steps, even though you don't jump all into it right away, that's okay. You don't have to refrain from starting what you want to do just because you feel like you're not ready. If you do that, you will never be ready and you will never achieve your goals. Start by getting out there. Just do a little bit at a time if you feel uncomfortable, but just do it. Um, 
there's so many people that hold back because they think, oh, I'm not good enough, I'm not ready, this isn't ready, um, I don't feel, I don't feel like I look good enough to do this, I don't feel like I have the confidence to do this. What's gonna get you to look like that, what's gonna get you to have that confidence is to actually do it. Step out of your comfort zone and just do it. Number five, like I mentioned before, be consistent, be positive, and be persistent. You're not gonna achieve your goals overnight. <laughs> you are not gonna achieve your desires overnight. And be aware that it will take time and be okay with that. As long as you are taking steps forward, as long as you are moving forward, as long as you know you are getting to your goal, as long as you know you are on the right path, and you're doing what you can to get there, that's all you need. And that's what you should be appreciative for every single day. All right guys, that's everything for today. I hope you enjoyed it and I really hope it was helpful. Um, if it's something that you did like, please don't forget to hit the like button. And if you're new to my channel, subscribe for more. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.